How's it going everyone? Welcome back. Now today's video is going to be all about setting up a VPN on your Mac device. Starting from picking a VPN service and all the way to tweaking some of these settings to make sure the VPN is as optimal as possible. And in case you don't already have a VPN service lined up, I'll be giving you guys my VPN recommendations and talk a little bit about what each one has to offer in terms of features and budget so that you can pick the one that works best for you. And of course, if you'd like to check out any of these VPNs for yourself, you'll find links to pricing and discounts as well as full reviews in the description down below. Okay, so the first step here is to pick a VPN if you don't already have one. And there are some things you should look out for before you make your choice. First of all, the VPN should have a strict no logs policy and operate on RAM only servers so that they don't log, store, or share your data with third party advertisers. Also, having a no logs policy is not enough on its own. The VPN should also go through audits by independent firms so that they can back up these policies instead of just claiming that they don't log your data. Second of all, if you want to use the VPN to access different streaming services, be it Netflix, Hulu, or HBO Max, you're going to need a VPN with obfuscated servers because these streaming platforms have started implementing firewalls that prevent encrypted traffic from accessing their platform. So what these obfuscated servers do is that they make your encrypted traffic look completely normal and get you past these firewalls with ease. Besides that, the VPN should have all the necessary security features, such as the kill switch that severs your internet connection should you accidentally disconnect from the VPN server to prevent any of your data from being leaked. On top of that, it should have fast enough protocols as well as a large pool of countries to give you a wide variety of content from all over the world. Now, to save you a bit of time looking for such a VPN, I've looked into a couple dozen services and I've narrowed them down to ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark as the best overall. All three of these have lightning fast speeds, audited no logs policies, plenty of obfuscated servers, and all the necessary security features, such as the kill switch. But of course, they vary in what they have to offer in terms of budget and features. So I'll briefly go over what they offer a bit later on in this video, once I show you how to set up the VPN. The process is pretty much the same for all these three, but I'll be using ExpressVPN to show you how this works, as it's the easiest to use, fastest at connecting and disconnecting from servers, and it's generally my go-to VPN for pretty much anything. All right, so once you've chosen your VPN, you're gonna have to go to their website, subscribe to a plan, and sign up for an account. And just a tip that would save you money, if you plan to use the VPN longer than a month, I recommend you go for the one or two year plans as they save you a lot more money than going for the monthly plan. Okay, so once you've chosen a plan, you'll go to the home screen right here where you'll find an activation code as well as the Mac download button. Just click on that to start the download. Now, once the files are finished downloading, click on the installer and it'll ask you for permission to install the app. So click allow and from here, it's just a couple of allows and continues until you reach this page right here where it asks you to choose the install location. It's gonna be set by default to your C drive, which is what I personally recommend, but you can choose another destination that you're more comfortable with. Once you've chosen the path and clicked on install, you'll get this screen right here asking you for the device password. So fill this section up, click on continue, and from here until the installation finishes, it's gonna be a couple of allows and continues and you'll be good to go. And so once the installation is done, Express is gonna ask you whether or not to move the installer to the trash bin. So that's also up to you. I personally chose to move it to trash just so that I don't have useless files on my PC. Next, you're gonna get this sign in pop up, so click on sign in, copy paste the activation code we talked about earlier, then click continue. So that's as far as installation goes. Now we begin the setup process. Don't worry though, it's pretty straightforward, so just follow what I'm doing and you'll be good to go. First, you're gonna get this pop up right here that says ExpressVPN IKV2 would like to add VPN configuration, so click allow. Next, Express is going to ask you whether or not you want it to launch on startup, and that's ultimately up to you. I personally prefer it to launch and connect on startup, but you do what's more comfortable for you. Finally, you'll get this screen asking you to help Express by allowing them to collect aggregated data, such as crash reports and bugs, so that they can improve your service. Now, this is not related whatsoever to your data, but if you want to make sure you're 100% safe, click on the no thanks and you'll be good to go. And so with that, the VPN is now fully installed and set up, so you can go ahead and start using it. Now, if you're wondering whether or not you should change any of these settings, the answer is no. You don't really need to tweak anything since all the settings are set on the best options by default. Oh, and this goes the same with both NordVPN and Surfshark. All three have the best options set by default. That being said, the only thing I recommend you do 
is go to the protocol section here and set your protocol to your VPN's fastest performing option. That's gonna be lightweight UDP with ExpressVPN, Nordlinks with NordVPN, and WireGuard with Surfshark. By changing your protocol to these, you'll make sure that you have the fastest connection speed possible with your VPN. However, if you encounter a server that doesn't work well with a set protocol, all you need to do is set it back to auto, and the VPN will choose the most suitable option for you. As simple as that. Okay, so now that I've shown you how to install install, set up, and tweak your VPN, let me talk a little bit about these three options to help you find the VPN that works best for you. Oh, and if you want a deeper dive into any of these services, you'll find some in-depth reviews in the description down below. All right, so starting with ExpressVPN, this is going to be the best performing, easiest to use, and most secure VPN on this list. It has the most verified no-logs policy due to an incident back in 2017, where the Turkish government seized one of their servers as part of an investigation, only to find nothing on that server. Aside from that, Express is also the fastest when it comes to connecting and disconnecting from servers. And while other VPNs take several seconds, Express does it in less than a second. Personally speaking, this snappiness and responsiveness is why I consider Express to be my go-to VPN, as it feels like it's part of your computer rather than a third-party application. Now, as far as servers go, Express has over 3,000 servers in 105 countries, and this huge amount of locations will allow you to access more content globally. Besides that, Express is the overall best choice if you're looking for an easy-to-use, plug-and-play VPN, as it stays away from the more advanced settings that don't interest most beginner and intermediate users. You just open the app, connect to a server, and that's about it. Now, this does mean that it doesn't have a lot of bonus features, like specialty servers and MeshNet, but it does have all the essentials like a kill switch, plenty of servers that are optimized for all uses instead of specialty servers and top-of-the-line protocols. Not to mention that very recently, ExpressVPN has launched their Identity Defender, which tracks your ID and social security number for fraud and guides you through the next steps. They also help in case of identity theft and have a data removal service where they can wipe out your information from any people's search websites or data broker databases. Just keep in mind that this feature just rolled out for US users and they plan on expanding it to more countries and users. So overall, Express is a high-performance VPN with a strong emphasis on security as well as ease of use, and I would especially recommend it if you're a privacy-conscious individual. Next up, we have NordVPN, which is going to be the fastest, most valuable VPN on this list. When it comes to speed, Nord is the fastest out of the three VPNs thanks to its Nordlinks protocol, which makes it a very good option for streaming, gaming, and torrenting. Nord also has the largest list of countries out of all three VPNs, as it has over 6,700 servers in 111 different countries, which again will give you access to a lot of content. Besides that, you'll also get a lot of bonus features, like an app kill switch, on top of the conventional kill switch, threat protection that blocks ads and malware, and a bunch of specialty servers like Onion Over VPN, Double VPN, and P2P servers. Servers. And similar to Express, Nord has also launched their identity protection feature very recently, and it functions the same as that of ExpressVPN, but you also get cyber extortion protection, as well as expert advice for these sorts of situations. So it's a little bit more fleshed out than ExpressVPN. And so if you're looking for the fastest, best value VPN that has a lot of bonus features and options that you don't get with most VPNs, go with Nord. And lastly, we have Surfshark, which is going to be the best budget option out of the three. The thing is, despite being so affordable, Surfshark does not sacrifice security or performance to cut costs. And it even offers a bunch of bonus features like specialty servers, web protection, and an ad blocker. Now, although it's typically not as fast as Nord and Express, it's still really fast and outperforms most VPNs on the market. Besides that, Surfshark will allow you to secure an unlimited number of devices with just one subscription, as opposed to Nord's 10 device limit and ExpressVPN's 8 device limit. So it's basically the best option if you're looking for a fast, low budget VPN that gets the job done at the best possible cost without sacrificing security or any important features. And the cherry on top is that you can share it with your friends and family. And with that, we've reached the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to use the links in the description to grab yourself the best discounts possible and check out the full reviews as well if you wanna know more about these VPNs. Besides that, like and subscribe to see more of these videos. And let me know in the comments if there's anything cybersecurity you'd like me to cover. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.